Hello friends, in this video, let me explain how to generate data from multiple workbooks using SQL syntax in VBA macro file. Today, I have three workbooks in three different locations. First file name is file one. This is the one. This file contains customer ID, customer name, customer mobile number, and payment option. And the second file is in this folder, file two. This file contains again customer ID, customer email ID, product price, payment option. And finally, there is one more file in this particular folder, file three. File three contains customer ID, customer mobile number, city and state. All these three files have different set of data set with customer ID as a unique column. You can see some of our columns are highlighted in green color and a few are in blue color. Now I wanted to generate all these green color items from three different files from three different folder. Now we are going to fetch all this data from three workbooks based on customer ID and put it in a single workbook. Okay, so this is the program which can be used to generate this type of data. Okay, let me explain each and every step here. Okay, so in this portion, all the workbook and worksheets and connections are declared in this portion. And in this portion, list of a path or assigned as a string. Example, in this file, I have mentioned this path in G11, G12, and G13, and the sheet name in H11, H12, and H13. So in this portion, we are going to give file path and sheet name. That's what I have declared this path as a string. And here, sheet names are declared as a string. And then string SQL, one more variable is declared in this portion as a string, because here, the process will carry out in this portion. Let me explain this later. Okay, so once all this declaration is completed and set workbook as this workbook, and once process completed, all result data will be updated in output worksheet. So in this main file, you can see output sheet. As of now, there is no data in this sheet. Let me explain and generate this data. Okay. So in this portion, get path data from sheet. So this is the exact path location, which will be referred and taken from G11, G12, and G13. So as I already mentioned, here you can see the exact path. And this is the place where sheet names are mentioned. So H11, H12, 13. Here WB workbooks mentioned to open all workbooks from different folder. And this is the place where all these connections and strings will be synchronized and connect to the Excel sheet file. And string SQL. So this is the important portion because here we give all the instructions how this program should react and take all the data from each file. So here you can see the select option. So select customer ID, customer name, customer mobile number from table one. And customer email ID, product price needs to be taken from table two. And city and state data needs to be taken from table three. From this path. So string sheet name. That means from this path. And inner join with sheet name one from file path two. So here you can see sheet name one and path name one. And then program will start to compare based on customer ID because customer ID is unique on each workbook. And then again, now the program will start to inner join with third file, which means sheet name two and path two. 
based on customer ID. So once this operation is completed, all the data will be taken and uh, updated in output sheet. So before updating in uh, up output sheet, the program will clear this content. That means all the data will be erased from this output sheet. And all data will be based on this output sheet with column names respectively. Customer ID, customer name, mobile number, email ID, product price, city, and state. So once this operation is completed, column name will be, that means column will be auto fit according to the col uh, column data size. And finally, all the workbooks will be closed and the program will say output generated successfully. So in this way, you can start to generate this program. Okay, now this is the time to extract data from this workbook. Just click on extract button to generate data. Okay, now it's completed output generated. Click OK. And in output sheet, you can see all the data. That means customer ID, customer name, customer number, customer email ID, product price, city, and state. So in this way, you can start to add more number of workbooks in this place and to generate data from multiple workbooks. Thanks guys for watching this video. I will come up with another session and I will start to post artificial intelligence and machine learning programs very soon.